Patients with ischemic stroke due to a cerebral large vessel occlusion have been shown to have better functional outcomes with endovascular thrombectomy than with standard medical care. However, patients with large strokes have generally been excluded from large trials of thrombectomy because of concern about hemorrhagic transformation of the infarct and the generally poor prognosis of these patients. A new trial evaluated the efficacy and safety of endovascular thrombectomy in patients with acute ischemic stroke with a large ischemic core volume. In this Phase three international randomized open-label trial, 352 adults with acute ischemic stroke due to a proximal large vessel occlusion and with a large ischemic core volume, as measured by one of three imaging methods, were assigned to undergo thrombectomy within 24 hours plus standard medical care or to receive standard medical care alone. The primary outcome was the score on the modified Rankin scale at 90 days. Scores range from 0 to 6, with higher scores indicating greater disability. The median score on the modified Rankin scale was 4 in the thrombectomy group and 5 in the medical care group, with thrombectomy demonstrating superiority over medical care alone. Secondary outcomes generally supported the primary outcome results including functional independence at 90 days. The incidence of intracranial hemorrhage was similar in the two groups, as was the mortality rate. However, 18% of the thrombectomy group had procedural complications, including dissection, vessel perforation, and vasospasm. The authors conclude that in patients with acute ischemic stroke due to a proximal large vessel occlusion, and with a large ischemic core volume, endovascular thrombectomy plus standard medical care resulted in better functional outcomes at 90 days than standard medical care alone, but was associated with procedural complications. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.